Every state is a little bit different, but getting your public adjuster license is typically a fast process, consisting of passing a licensing exam, completing the application, purchasing a surety bond, and providing contracts for approval. If this is your first time getting licensed as a public adjuster, the surety bond step might be completely new to you. And that's why in this short video, I'm gonna help you understand what a surety bond is, why public adjusters are required to purchase one, how to purchase your bond and save money, plus other helpful resources if you wanna research further. Before we get started, did you know it takes far less than 10 seconds to just hit that like button? It's gonna help YouTube put this video in front of other people who are getting our license as a public adjuster for the first time, plus you'll be doing me a huge favor. Let's answer the question, what is a surety bond? A surety bond, or in this case, a public adjuster bond, is a contract that acts as a financial guarantee that you will follow your state's insurance adjuster laws, rules, and regulations, and conduct business with your customers using fair and ethical business practices. This bond is your state's licensing agency's primary tool to hold you accountable to the promises to your customer and how you conduct business with them. It's for their protection. So if the bond is a form of protection, what does a public adjuster surety bond protect against? The licensing process itself is a set of standards implemented by your state that all public adjusters must go through. And yet despite these standards, every year there's gonna be a small handful of public adjusters who will make poor decisions to financially harm their customers to make more money. And they do this on purpose. Examples of these actions and decisions include charging unnecessarily high fees for successful claims, falsely recommending a customer to increase claims for a higher commission, lying to a customer or insurance company to extract higher payouts. If a public adjuster is found guilty of these actions or similar actions, the customer can make a claim against their bond for financial compensation, but only up to the amount of the bond. And this brings us to what is the bond amount? The bond amount is set by your state's licensing agency. In most states, this agency is named the Department of Insurance, the Commissioner of Insurance, the Department of Financial Services. The bond amount for your state is gonna be different from all the other states. Examples of bond amounts for different states are Illinois at $50,000, Georgia is $5,000, Florida is $50,000, Texas is $10,000, California $20,000, and Colorado $20,000. So those are some examples. Remember, your bond amount will be different. The bond amount, again, is just the maximum amount of financial protection afforded to your customers. The price to purchase this bond is a small fraction of that bond amount. So let's talk about how much does a public adjuster bond cost? I have some really good news for you, but first it does help to understand that a public adjuster bond's price or cost is determined by a rate quoted from a surety. And a surety is just the insurance company that underwrites surety bonds. Every surety is gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna assess the applicant on an independent uh, analysis using factors such as personal credit, insurance and adjuster history, any prior bond claims if you've been licensed in the past. Again, based on these factors, the surety is gonna quote a rate and the rate multiplied by your bond amount is the price that you're gonna pay. But you can avoid all of this by working with a specialized surety agency like Surety Bonds Direct. You see, we work with multiple A-rated sureties to find you the lowest rate and lowest prices. And in the case of public adjuster bonds, we secure low fixed prices, which allow you to skip the personal credit check skip the industry check, skip investigating any prior bond claims. This means that you can instantly purchase your bond today and have it issued within one business day. Let's look at some example prices just so you can get an idea of what they are. The following prices are kind of almost like the majority of states charge the following prices regardless of the bond, am bond amount. $100 for a one-year term, $175 for a two-year term, $250 for a three-year term. Some states will be more expensive, like Florida. Remember, their bond amount is $50,000, and some of their costs are $500 for a one-year term, up to $1,250 for a three-year term. Click on the link in the description, it's one of the top links, and you'll go to our page for public adjusters. Just click on your state and you'll immediately see your pricing. There's nothing to opt into or anything. Why are prices different from state to state? The bond amounts and the prices are based on the complaints against public adjusters in your states, kind of the history of complaints. So the more misconduct in your state, typically the higher the bond amount's gonna be, and subsequently the surety's gonna want a little bit more to underwrite that bond. This is again why it's so important to work with a specialized surety agency like Surety Bonds Direct, because we are, we are gonna help you find the lowest possible cost regardless. What are the one, two, and three year terms? Every surety bond has a bond term. This is the amount of time that the bond remains active before it has to be renewed. So you can purchase a one, two, or three year bond term. The benefits of purchasing a longer term are just a discount on the price. 
And typically what happens is if it's longer, you may forget about it. But again, this is why working with Surety Bonds Direct or a specialized surety agency is so valuable because we manage that process. So as your bond uh, expiration date approaches, your bond specialist will reach out to you 30 to 40 days in advance to remind you that it needs to be renewed. They'll have all the pricing available, ready to go so that you can get that done. The same bond, or once you do pay the renewal premium, your bond just remains active. You don't have to resubmit a new bond or any additional paperwork. Purchasing your public adjuster bond. Purchasing your bond is as easy as clicking buy and uh, completing an online checkout form. The minute your payment is processed, our issuance team will get to work on your bond and they're gonna complete the correct bond form with the required signatures, seals, and power of attorney. Most licensing agencies will uh, accept a copy of the bond from you, so in order to get licensed, this means that we can email you the copy, speeding the process up. However, there will be a few uh, licensing agencies that want an actual physical bond form with raised seals and what they call a wet signature, or just that's just a signature of like your signature and pen. And if this is the case, you have to account that we have to ship that to you. So that's additional days that you might have to wait. So get your bond now, don't push this off to the last second. It's good just to check it off so that you know that this part is done. That's the bonding process. I hope you see it's not as complicated as you probably initially thought it was. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, ask in the comments. I always answer any question or comment. And now go click on the link in the description so that you can at least go see your pricing. You don't have to buy today, but go click on the link. That way you can see the actual price. If you agree to it, purchase it, and you can have your bond within one business day. Remember, it takes less than 10 seconds to hit that like button. You're gonna help YouTube put this video in front of other public adjusters who are getting licensed for the first time, and you'll be doing me a huge favor. Thank you for watching.